Hello everybody, welcome to The Way Out is Through episode 28, part of my daily, almost daily, video series of de daily thoughts and reflections that keep me going each day. So I didn't have an episode yesterday, it was just too busy and just kind of a hectic day, I just didn't end up getting one out. Um, so I'm going to try to get two out today, but if not, you know, I only miss one day, that's not no big problem. But anyway, uh, today was a big day. I have a couple huge things that just came out today. The Now This News story dropped, where it is um, on Twitter and Facebook, and of course, look at Now This News. They have it on both their sites. Um, I believe it's coming to Instagram and YouTube soon. And that is quite an interesting experience, so that's why I'm going to make today's topic dealing with exposure. How do you deal with it when all of a sudden tens and tens of thousands of people all of a sudden they're commenting and noticing who you are and talking about you and wanting to ask questions of you. What do you do? Because there's a lot of feelings that happen. You start to get nervous because people aren't usually used to this kind of attention. People don't usually used to people wanting to talk to them. So you get butterflies in your stomach and you can get flustered. And you can worry about people wanting to use your message for different ends and wanting to manipulate you in certain ways. And all of those have been worries for me at various stages in this. Um, now I'm to the point where I'm not really worried about any of that because I'm confident in who I am. I'm going to tell my story regardless of who likes it. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because some people have told me it really helps. And the fact that it helps even a couple, even one, means that it's worth it. it means that I'm going to keep on going and keep on pushing through regardless of who doesn't like it, regardless of who might attack. Right now, on the Now This News, because it's a wider reach, the audience is only about half and half, I'd say, positive to trolls. There's there's a good amount of trolling going on in the comment section, which is different than the TED Talk comment section. That one had a lot more positivity to it. But this one, they, they both still have a similar thread. The, the, none of the trolling is actually about me. Very few of it, I would say, are actually about me. Most of it is about, they think that I'm talking about guns, and they think that I want to take away all guns, which is not the case. I am not, I do my best to try to not mention gun control because I don't think it's the argument we need to touch on the most, at least from my perspective. Not that we don't need to touch on it, just that I'm not the one to touch on it because there's other people doing that better than I will. So let them talk about it. I have my own message and I want to keep on saying that, which is inclusion for the people who are the outcast. Bring the outcast into your fold. Show those who feel like they don't matter and don't love themselves and don't feel worth it. Show them that they really do matter. Show them that they are worth it. So that's what I do. So this exposure is pretty cool. I have another big, in, in two days, I have another one. Uh, now, this new, now this news was today. NPR from WBUR, or W, yeah, I, th I, hope, I hope I got those call letters right. Uh, the Kind World podcast out of Boston. That's coming out in three days, which is also, coincidentally, the one year anniversary for my weight loss surgery. A year ago, in three days, I went in to have weight loss surgery. So I was 200 and, or I'm sorry, 398 pounds a year ago today, approximately. I give it to give, her, give a pound or two. And so today, I am 289 pounds. I've gained a little bit. I actually should have, I was down to 270 something and I gained a little bit of weight. So I'm 289 pounds today. And that in a year exactly, I've lost about a hundred and, what was that? 102 pounds, 103 pounds. Maybe my math might be off, but right about a hundred pounds. So I'm very proud of that. And in that year, I've changed my entire life, as you've all have known. And also, just so anybody that hasn't seen, we also just crossed the one-year anniversary for You Are Not Alone, the absolutely perfect group that I run that is one of the brightest positive spots in all of the internet. You come to You Are Not Alone, and it's just nothing but positivity and support. People can share their stories. Sometimes the stories aren't positive because they're going through things. There might be negative stories of what they're going through. But the support and the love that they receive after that is positivity. So if you feel like you need some place to talk about your problems and talk about your feelings and open up, You Are Not Alone is the best place, to, in my opinion, to do it. And if you are in it, then you'll find that it tends to take over your feed and tends to be a good uh, drowning out of all the negative politics in the world. So anyway, dealing with exposure, I just deal with it by taking a deep breath, 
relaxing and letting myself be. Just letting me be me. All my warts and all. I, I run on this whole thing by open honesty and just opening my chest up to everybody and just letting everybody see. So, I. But in the end, I also have the benefit of not having any fear. As I mentioned before, I don't really have any fear of embarrassment. I don't really have the ability to get embarrassed or the ability to become afraid of social situations. So, that is kind of a benefit that I have. But I still say, take a breath. Fight through it. You can do it. Anyway, I'm going to try to get one more of these out later on today. I'm going to think about another topic and see what I can do. But um, there's the Now This New Story. Look for that. In a couple days, there's the um, the NPR story. And then in just a little while, there is another podcast that I recorded a couple months ago that's finally dropping uh, from Rob Conrad. Um, I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head, but I will have the link for it soon. And I love you all. Thank you for all your love and support. And as always, you are not alone.